good morning. I'm not sure what's going on with my hair. Uh, well, day 156. Uh, so, stealth camped. Um, uh, that was a real tired last night, so um, I was trying to spot them off the uh, off the track, hidden away. So I didn't get a climb, which is good. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to push up to Lake on Lake of the Clouds now. Um, to grab some breakfast and then Washington after that. The weather looks like it's going to be real nice for me. It's up there is, um, yeah, Washington is behind me, so there's a little bit of cloud of like moving around there, but it looks like it's going to be lovely and fine. And then down over there, you can see. like an estate that someone built, bought, and then yeah, we drove, drove past them today. But that's kind of, kind of cool, socked into amongst the clouds. Um, yeah, and then over, over there is the mountain that we came up last night. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, the temperature seems okay. I've not checked what it is this one, uh, but I, uh, there is wind. Not to be unexpected on, on peaks and up high. Uh, Washington is renowned for having the fastest recorded wind speed uh, of 231 miles an hour. But I don't think it's supposed to be anywhere close to anything like that today. Um, so we'll see what it is when we get there. I've got my wind shot. I can check on if, I'm, if it is windy. Um, but, Anyway, uh, yeah, like I say, head to the Lake of the Clouds, or Lake Above the Clouds, can't remember what the actual uh, name of it is, um, which is a hut, maybe they will have some breakfast leftovers, because sometimes they, the huts, they put on breakfast for their, for their guests, and they sometimes have leftovers for like tea hikers, uh, but I don't know, it's usually, I think it's usually just a bit of oatmeal, or it was at Galehead Hut, um, so I didn't hang around for that. Uh, I'll buy a breakfast then, a heavy pack, which I could do with eating some of the food out of. Um, yeah. Okay. This is a little trickier than I was expecting, it's a little slippy. So I'm going to put this away before I die. For now, happy hiking. This is a brisk morning. It's beautiful. And yeah. And then up there, Mount Washington looms. Makes sense all. Mount Doom. Yeah. <laughs> 
so I'm hoping I can be making the clouds by maybe eight. Uh, and maybe back on trail by like 8.15. Um, because it's not far. I think it's like only another mile, mile and a half from like the clouds up to Washington. Now, granted that's a steep up, but if I can do that in a couple of hours, then uh, you know, maybe I'll be on Washington for like 10-ish and hopefully there won't be too many day hikers up there at that point but we shall see do you know what doesn't doesn't help me get there any quicker is all this yapping to the camera <laughs> but in all seriousness I want to make sure that I uh, enjoy the climb I'm not just ro racing to to summit at Washington's a, a pretty big deal it's one of the one of those kind of pre-trail highlights that I knew about um, you know, like Franconia Ridge I'm hoping to be uh, surprised and delighted by what I find up there um, the one thing I will say is I'm a little sad that I'm doing it so long. Assassin gadget um, summited Washington yesterday. Uh, so they look so happy, so good. Um, uh, yeah. I'm playing a little bit of catch up and I missed them. Uh, that's you know, one of the downsides of going to sort out my, my visa. Was, uh, I might fall a little bit behind for a second. For a minute, I thought I'm yesterday. I thought I might be able to catch them up today. Oh, yeah, yesterday we were some Washington this morning. But they had a good window, and so I don't blame them for going for it. But yeah, a little, little sad because it's nice to share these things with the people you really care about. It's a gadget. It's a gadget, but that's to get there, so that's cool. But, I'm gonna be all lonely. <laughs> but we've got plenty of, of memories together and hopefully I'll catch up with them. If not later today, then maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, again, again for now, this is not this is not helping me hike any faster, so bye! And there is a Crest over the ledge is the Lake of the Clouds Hut. Looks pretty good. I think it's the most popular um, hut, probably because of its proximity to uh, Washington, which is the most popular uh, mountain, I believe, even more so than Franconia Ridge, which was jam pack when we saw it, so let's go see what they have to offer. This is the iconic, might be the wrong word for it, but the uh, famous dungeon. Uh, it's essentially an emergency shelter um, at Lake of the Clouds, or Lake Above the Clouds. Uh, and through hikers can stay in here on a first come first serve basis. Ten dollars, $10, I think, gets you one of these bunks. So there are six, and you could probably get some more on the floor if you were, if you were desperate, but it is. Summer fee, see staff, so I think it's 10 bucks. Winter emergency only. So I've heard that it gets full of ice at times. But yes, that is the. They call it the dungeon for, I guess, fairly obvious reasons. But not bad. Not bad view to wake up.
wake up to. <laughs> right, anyway, it's 8.05. Time to put back on and sum up this bitch. Okay, breakfast done at the wonderful lake of the clouds over there. Uh, it is 8.16. Uh, I've been hiking for maybe 15 minutes or so, slowly. Uh, but it is stunning. And I kind of like this even though it's a little bit scary in that your Washington looms up there so you can kind of see what you're aiming towards and it's decently up but I feel like I've got this oh I say is I nearly fall off the mountain again <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, not sure what the plans are after Washington. Um, like I said, there's a ridge line across and then Madison, which is supposedly uh, got a pretty tough descent, descent maybe. I don't know. Um, but then it's a big drop down to Osgood tent site. Um, so that's an option. Um, I've been in touch with Gadget, uh, so she stayed, she, they stayed, her and Sass and others, I think Rifle and Kit Kat maybe, stayed near the Madison hut last night, so they were maybe 10 miles ahead of me, uh, and potentially they might be trying to push for Mount Crawford today, which is uh, down and then up the, a couple of things called the Wildcats, which I've heard are potentially pretty uh, gnarly. Um, but I don't know. So I doubt I'll be seeing them today depending on how much I've got in there, the old tank. Uh, but there is, or at least there are rumors of a storm blowing in, certainly on Washington uh, on Monday. Uh, so it's Saturday today. So, that gives me two days, basically, all day today and all day tomorrow, to get up and over and try and put decent distance between myself and Washington. Hopefully I can push through and get most of the whites done, or well, the rest of the whites done uh, in those two days. So, after the Wildcats and Crawford, there's a few more bits and bobs, and then there is, I think a place called the Vortex Connection or something, uh, which is a hostel slash campground near to a town called Gorham. Uh, and I'll almost certainly be going into Gorham for a resupply if not for uh, staying to, just because, I don't know, I feel like I might want a, a decent bed after what will then be three or four nights. Um, and depending on what happens on Monday, I might need to dry out. Uh, yeah. 
So I presume, I think I'd probably be there for some point on Monday. <laughs> and again, hopefully I can dodge the worst of the storm, but yeah, the main thing is being off uh, uh, somewhere like this, which as you saw from the notice, they don't mess around. People have died at Washington because it's the home to the worst weather in the US. So, I mentioned it earlier, the highest wind speed, 231 miles an hour. Uh, and I think the coldest temperature uh, Factoring in wind chill, I believe, uh, was also in the... Anyway, enough doom and gloom. I've got this to go It gets weirder and weirder the closer we get to it. Like, just yeek. But anyway, I am gonna put my phone away because it's like, I'm still easily faster than most of these day hikers, uh, even with small or no pack. But it's more effort and less speed generally for me. So let's uh, engage the poles, engage full concentration, and get her done. Getting close. Whew. I think that is a train coming up. So hopefully I get to see it. Unless it's on the other side. This is cool. Very cool. And oddly quiet at the moment. Maybe I have been, like, the matter crowd. Okay, it's a restroom and snack bar. The train. Very jealous of those people coming up on the train. This is insane. Insane. Just. This would not be a bad spot for chill. Enjoy. Crazy to see like the roads and all this It's like it's completely natural if you like. But yeah, I'm gonna use the restrooms, gonna grab a quick snack. Probably a extortionately priced snack. But, uh, uh, and then I'll start heading down. Well not down, but along. Uh, whatever the next one is. 
Where we get a little bit crazier. So, having, having hiked up and enjoyed a snack at the snack bar. So, then over there, I think, is Madison. I do too. I recommend. This is the craziest bit here. And it's, it's always a little bit of a cult. Because obviously, some people have driven up here. You can see the train going down over there. Yeah, very surreal. Okay, and time for me to a GTFO somewhere over that way. And now we go down. So, I guess, cross the railway lines. <laughs> That's funny. <sighs> At least there's no trains approaching fast from the east. <laughs> yep. I'd be tempted to you know, to take the rail, railway to come and visit here, but I think it's like ninety dollars for a uh, a return ticket or something, uh, which is quite a lot. Now, again, is it worth it? I don't know. It's beautiful up here. I don't know how much of up here you're seeing if you get the um, the train up it looks like most people are just summiting you know and then around the observation area i guess and then maybe you know a, a snack in the relatively overpriced but not crazy um but relatively overpriced uh snack area maybe getting a souvenir like sodas were three dollars so yeah it's not the craziest you know i paid more than that for a soda in the uh, in the airport so yeah but anyway the the point of it is that you know there's not a huge amount to do up here yeah it is beautiful and on a day like today fantastic views and you know, you could probably chill and sit outside and look at things. But, you know, most other days, my guess is that, you know, the, uh, the cloud covers in and you can't really see anything. So, uh, who knows? Yeah. But if you're a family coming up, that's going to, I think that's going to add up pretty quickly. Uh, okay, I just need to make sure I'm going the right way. I think I am. Because I think I'm going along there and along that ridge line and then up and over each of those. But I'm just going to double check. Hi. The train on the way up. So this is not the steam train. So it looks like they have various different options for your train up uh, travel. Uh, but yeah, it seems like it could be a fun way to get up there. Hey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Some people are apparently not uh, not fans. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I'm 
I think it might be a little steep, but you know, anything that get that allows more people to enjoy, you know, something as cool as Mount Washington, I think is a good thing. I just maybe think the price could be a little more friendly, or maybe they could, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. Just trying to think like discount or have more options up on top or whatever. I, I don't know. It's it's an odd one. A balance between you know not overpopulating it and turning it into a crazy tourist thing uh, and trying to encourage people in. I'm reminded of some of the uh, some of the readings of Nutter Butter uh, way back when talking about you. Know, the, uh, ooh, yeah. talking about yeah, how so many of the national parks you know, have cars that drive into them and parking lots and all this kind of stuff and it's, it detracts from it but and I you know, can definitely see that and it is weird seeing so many day hikers and stuff around uh, but yeah again at the same point I I do like the idea of access for everyone uh, but I don't know find balance to, to, to get right I'm just super glad that I get to experience this uh, you know, and again not crazy busy it, it, it was filling up for sure as I left and there were a lot of people up on that observation area um, but I had like the summit this morning basically to myself and then you know, got a chance to catch up with with some friends in the summit cafe so breadcrumbs and scribe and um, garden and perch uh, amongst others were were in there they seem to be sat uh, they were a little cold um, because I think they've been sat there for a while, having pushed up from Lake on the Clouds, Lake Above the Clouds, uh, this morning. Uh, they, yeah, they, uh, they were all puffied up and you know, bemoaning that it was a little cold in there, which I guess it was, because it's inside and there's a bit of a breeze that, we're, that goes through. Uh, I feel like once you're in the sun, it's, it's super warm. Uh, but yeah, anyway, enough rambling. I started this because the train was going by, but now the train has gone and it's just me <laughs> walking along being still kind of gobsmacked by all of this. Um, so yeah, looks like I'm going up here and then probably along that ridge line over there. Whew. Yikes. Um, just sort of saying the Madison hut is like five miles and that's just before the climb up Mount Madison which I'll do after lunch probably maybe maybe I'll have lunch at, Mount, at Madison hut uh, so I've heard that, the, that Madison can be a little bit rough uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it I guess Anyway, possibly getting boring now, but this trail is amazing. Down into the valley, and then along here. Absolutely breathtaking. Whew. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Holy moly. Stunning. Whew. The 
and there's Washington where I was a couple hours ago. Whew. I've seen comments about a roundabout and I can see why there are so many potential exits on this. So because I'm in America I will go around the other way. So there's Lowe's path and then there is the AT there and then Lowe's path there and then the other one back up. So just so many options. If it was low visibility this could be problematic. But fortunately it's all fine. Okay and then there is there's another split here, Great Gully Trail going down that way. So fun. And also like this whole section um, from uh, Washington over so far is very reminiscent of uh, Rocksylvania. Um, just rocks and rocks and rocks and rocks and rocks. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, I'm complaining a little bit. But it is a. Uh, like it's fun in the same way that Pennsylvania was fun for a little bit, but I hate to think what toll it's taking on my feet. And I'm very, very sad that uh, I don't have my new shoes. Uh, so I'm still in the shoes that I wore um, uh, from uh, where? Duncannon. Jeez. Um, so I probably should have swapped a couple of hundred miles ago, maybe. Uh, but I was I wasn't sure, and I didn't have my my shoes with me at that point. And then I sent them to the wrong place, and so now they are in a, a bounce box that is uh, somewhere in the US uh, postal system, uh, which is my fault because I sent them to the wrong place, not the US Postal Service. So I sent them to uh, the wrong Cheshire. I sent them to Cheshire, Con I think Cheshire, Connecticut, instead of, uh, or Salisbury, Connecticut. Somewhere, somewhere Connecticut instead of, instead of uh, uh, wherever, New Hampshire or Vermont. Vermont, I think. Yeah, so my fault for sending them to the wrong place. They are currently being returned to sender, which I think is Gadget's home address. So hopefully they'll turn up and I'll get them, but who knows at this rate. But anyway, more hiking there. We see Manson Hut. That looks pretty impressive. Uh, I'm going to stop in there for some lunch. It's about 0.3 from here. Uh, and, and then hike, I guess, up that, which is Madsen, and down the other side. Already can see the, uh, the route. He looks <laughs> sketchy and fun. But, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to go down this, and then I can eat. So, whew. okay, that's lunch at Madison uh, done. Lovely little spot. Uh, and now I have this little thing to climb. So Mount Madison, um, it's point five up, I think. So it's only half a mile up, but it looks hella steep going up and hella steep coming down. So, fun times. We'll see how uh, how long this takes me. Okay, so the top of Madison's up there. I just wanted to stop and capture this. You can see the road up to Washington, all up there. And that's Adams. And then just down in the dip there uh, was the uh, Madison hut I just come from. Whew. It's crazy, but beautiful. Okay, so this is kind of the top. I guess there's a maybe a sign over there, but there's a bunch of people there. Pretty spectacle. Spectacle. 
spectacular or special or both and down <laughs> insanity love it okay i'm starting to uh, head down off this ridge line the tree lines are maybe like half a mile apparently there's washington over there and then i walked all the way along there and then down and then i'm all the way over there and tucked away just over there is the uh, madison and then i'm with madison and down Whew. it's a uh, yeah this is a challenging little section it's all pennsylvania-esque and it's rocks and not really clearly marked where you're going so you're kind of having to just pick the best course of action for you most of the time you've got these little cans or remains of cans to roughly signify which way to go um but yeah it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun it's also very tiring to keep concentrating uh, for so long more so than like on a normal trail uh, oh, and it's obviously a little bit of hell on the feet and knees but anyway not long i think that's pinkham notch over there that i'm aiming for as my next kind of stopping point but we'll see cool. So I just stopped in to the uh, Pinkham Notch Visitor Centre. Uh, Pinkham Notch Visitor Centre. Uh, it's an AMC, like a mountain club uh, thing. It's got some facilities, which is pretty good. Um, but the deli shot, I don't have a reservation, so I can't get dinner. So I'm going to push on. Um, I'm pretty sure the trail goes up there um, but I'm not doing that today so I think I'm going to just go for a, a mile or so to try and find somewhere stealthy to, to camp up but we'll see anyway for now bye pretty nice I mean it's right by the uh, the main road it's still pretty beautiful uh, hold on a second let's see That's a bit better, less smudgy. Yeah, beautiful. And this side. Yeah, lovely. Doesn't at all fill me with terror for what's coming next. And that's just down where I've come off of. Yeesh. Here we go, here we go. So up the first little bit of, of the cliffs, a uh, little pop out view of a road. Uh, yeah, it's tough. Uh, I just passed some people who said that there might be some stealth spots just up ahead uh, by a water source, which is very nice to hear because that wouldn't be a bad spot at all. I love having water to uh, to, you know, right by me so anyway let's see where that is <laughs> okay a bit further so I'm now maybe uh, three quarters of a mile up um, I've passed a few potential spots uh, but there's a water source in like uh, 0.3 of a mile so basically a mile from at uh, the bottom uh, and someone I passed going down uh, she said she thought that there were some potential spots around there so hoping that's the case uh, but we'll see uh, it's 7.40 so I've got maybe 30 minutes before sunset um, but it shouldn't get dark too quickly. Uh, 
so I could potentially push up. See, there's definitely some spots there that I could potentially jump in, but let's go up closer to this water. Um, but yeah, I could potentially try and push up to the top. It's only like a, um, I think like another half mile or a mile after, but it is straight up, so uh, it would be very tiring. So I'm probably, like I say, going to get to this water source, make sure it's viable and uh, try and find myself a spot around there. We'll see if I record any more. I don't think there's supposed to be any more views, but I might show you the stealth spot if it's any good.